What's up, old school audio fans? Big D here from OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to talk about something that borders on the old school, for me at least. The Orion HCCA 275G4. This is part of Orion's High Current Competition Amplifier Series. And the G4 was made in approximately the year 2000, somewhere around there, 1999, 2000. This is a beast of a competition amplifier. I will flash up the specs on the screen now so you can see the ratings. Also, uh, I have the Punch 45 HD here just for comparison's sake. You can see that you could fit about four of the Punch 45s in the same area as the Orion. So now I'm going to walk you around, show you the connections on the sides. Okay, on this side, as you can see, we've got um, three 30 amp fuses uh, on the left. We have a power input for ground and 12 volt. We have the remote lead, we have the speaker terminals which right now have it bridged and on the right side we have another power input accepting 4 gauge wire and we have three more 30 amp fuses. Now for those of you who aren't mathematically inclined that is 180 amps of fusing which is incredible do 180 times 12 and that will give you the max output at 12 volts and i'll throw that on the screen now also the ratings um, are very impressive but this this amp is also underrated like most of the orion hccas so let me show you the other side okay on this side as you can see we have the phase switch we have the left and right gain uh, we have another phase switch for the left side we have the RCA ins, auxiliary out. Then we have some other switches for the uh, crossovers, which I can't imagine why anybody would use this for anything other than a subwoofer amp. And you may notice these uh, circular holes here. These are actually for a, um, a metal bar, which I guess was designed to come out for uh, transporting the amp, but I've also heard that some people have used it to pump antifreeze through to help cool this beast. Wow, I mean, I've used it here on the test bench for a little while and it's not even gotten close to being hot, but it's probably because I'm not pushing it very hard. So anyway, here is the exterior of the amp. So let's fire it up and see how this baby sounds. As with many of my demos, I'm using the uh, Audio Authority 978 uh, power supply to 13.8 volts. 100 amps max now <laughs> this amp with 180 amps could uh easily overheat and uh and probably put this in the shutdown but i'm not going to push it quite that hard so no worries there and for the subwoofer i'm using an infinity perfect 12 inch vq the variable q subwoofer and it's in about a two cubic foot ported box slot ported as you can see uh, to the spec so this amp, uh, I mean, this is probably a very light load on this amplifier, but as you'll see here shortly, it has plenty of amp to push this speaker to its maximum. Okay, we've just turned on the power supply, and as you can see, we have power on the amp. And some people may wonder why I'm using these cheesy RCAs. Well, actually, what I found is that the inexpensive ones are very easy on the connectors for plugging in and taking out now if you obviously we're going for a um, a sound quality and a uh, permanent installation you want to use some nicer rcas but i found that these work they're easier to plug and unplug which you know causing less stress to the uh, connectors which is important
I really hate this uh, paper test that people do or put a CD in front of the port, but um, for those of you who like it, here you go. Check it out. Some of you may have seen the specs on the screen and said, what's going on, Big D? Two times 75 watts into four ohms and then 1,000 watts, or I'm sorry, 1,200 watts into one ohm mono? What's going on here? Well, this is what we call a cheater amp, folks. And uh, these are designed for the competition classes. Uh, the two times 75 watts, 150 watts total into four ohms is what class this amplifier would be allowed to be utilized in. Or you could use multiple to fit into other classes. But uh, as you can see, it being rated at 150 watts and actually putting out probably over 1500 watts. This is the epitome of the cheater amps. Okay, folks, there you go. That was by no means what I'd call a sound quality test, but uh, a lot of you out there like to see the uh, SPL output. So this amp really begs to have, I don't know, some, some of those better higher output 15s or 12s or 18s that you guys use nowadays, which I don't use because it's just too much for me. Call me an old fuddy daddy. But uh, anyway, this amp is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And uh, of course I haven't been playing it for very long, but it's not even, beginning to get warm yet so it's got plenty of horsepower sweet amp there you go the orion hcc 275 g4 sweet amplifier of the semi old school thanks for watching see you guys next time on big d's audio